So far in 2023, Tesla have sold nearly 8,000 electric cars in Australia and they dominate the electric vehicle market, which has ballooned from 1.1% last year in the month of April to 8% in the month of April this year. That's insane. That's seven times as many EVs being sold in April this year versus April last year. For good reason, the Model Y is going to be the best-selling crossover SUV in Australia. Wow, what a time to be alive. Aussies, this is awesome news. Now, I've got some bad news as well, price increases. Fortunately, they're not by too much, and some vehicles have come down in price significantly. Here in Australia, we have six variants of Tesla vehicles you can buy. There's three Model Ys and three Model 3s. Well, four of the six have just gone up in price. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name's Sam Evans. Great to see you. In Australia, a lot of people believe still that um, Tesla vehicles are a bit more, less affordable than they could be. But I think a lot of people don't realize that the competition, or most of the cars that are competing with the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3 in Australia are smaller. The Addo 3, the MGZS EV, those kind of cars, they're actually, they're actually a significant difference in size. And the fairest thing to do when comparing prices with other countries is to do the conversion. So if you convert the price, the prices in Australia are actually not very different to the prices in America. They're very, very similar in fact. Tesla in Australia though has just increased the price, but not by a lot. For the six vehicles across the 2023 Tesla Model 3, electric sedan and it's closely related sibling, the 2023 Model Y electric SUV. Four of the six have gone up in price and maybe part of the reason for that is there's been massive demand. Tesla is now the sixth best-selling car manufacturer in Australia. They have the fourth best-selling car, the best-selling passenger car this year. Tesla is doing amazing sales in Australia, absolutely blitzing it. I don't think anyone thought this would happen. I think people just say, oh yeah, the Model 3, the Model Y, they're old now. No one wants them anymore. Well, the sales here in Australia prove that those people saying that are just wrong. They're just flat out incorrect. And one of the reasons for this is we have had to wait a fair while to get the Model Y. It didn't come out in Australia until about, I think it was about September, October last year. There was heaps of orders for the Model Y and Tesla is still delivering some of those orders even today. They've increased the price for two of the three variants of the three and the Model Y by $400. So what that means is the Model 3 performance price has actually gone down by $200. Model Y performance has gone down by $2,600. The Model Y performance is an absolute bargain. In my opinion, it's the best performance SUV for the price probably in Australian history. If you can tell me another car that has the kind of performance the Model Y performance has for the price that it costs, well, I'll wait because I know you can't. It's impossible. There has never been a car in the history of Australia that can go as fast as this can, 0 to 60 or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, that is this size, that has anywhere near the size of this car. It's, it's never existed. This is an incredible performance car bargain. And I, I think that um, because a lot of the people who are into performance cars are still obsessed with gasoline powered vehicles, which suck in my opinion, in comparison. I mean, this why do we see so many te car tests where the electric car wins? It's because to actually extract the performance out of a V8 or a six cylinder engine or a, a highly stressed turbo four cylinder, you've got to be hitting the, at the right time. You've got to be in the right gear at the right time. With an EV, you don't need any of that. You just take off. I mean, the Model X Plaid has destroyed supercars, and it's for this reason. Even with winter tires, destroys them because it's so easy to drive an EV fast. So when you see the performance figures from Tesla, they're actually more realistic than performance figures from BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Volkswagen, Ford, whoever it is, because you can actually, if you're an average driver, you can do it. You don't need the perfect conditions, the perfect racetrack temperature, the perfect slickness on the track. You can pretty much do these kind of performance times with a Model Y performance, with a Model 3 performance in the real world, anytime, anywhere. And that's what I love about EVs. You don't need to have gone and driven race cars or had, you know, experience doing, you know, launching your car at 6,000 RPM in second 
second year to try and extract the right performance. That's what you see on channels like CarWow. They're constantly going, oh, I stuffed up that launch. Oh, I, what did I do wrong? Why did launch control not work? Oh, I pressed 17 buttons to get the car into launch control and it didn't work. This is the kind of thing you're seeing across performance cars all the time. I mean, why do they have this stuff? You've got to press your foot down on the brake and the accelerator, press seven buttons, and then you get it into launch control. Imagine trying to do that in the real world when you want to have a bit of fun, right, with your mates, right? That's going to be really hard to do. Like I said, Model Y Performance, it's an absolute bargain. So the entry level price now of the Model 3, the cheapest version with lithium ion phosphate batteries, which is a really good car. If you're going to get a sedan or a car of this size, this is what I would be getting. $61,300, that's Australian dollars. US dollars, that's around 42,000 US dollars. So you can see it's very similar in price to the American version. And in Queensland now, you can get a big incentive off this. So you're gonna get one of these for around $55,000 in Queensland. Model Y, cheapest price is now 69,300. So the price hasn't changed a lot, only a $400 price difference. The $400 price increase for the Model Y comes less than a month after $400 was cut from its price. Now, I believe that Tesla just changes the price depending on how long their order book is usually, not always, but usually. I think there's a lot of orders at the moment for the Model Y and the Model 3. One of the key reasons is just, it's kind of like a wave. I mean, the more people that join the wave, the bigger the wave gets. And we're seeing these huge sales figures in Australia for the Model 3 and the Model Y, and people are going, oh, my friend got this, Tell me about it, mate. You know, tell me about the car. And he's going, well, actually, mate, have a look at it. You know, this does this, it does that. Now, oh, can you charge it? And he's like, yeah, I'll just plug it into a normal socket. You don't need to. Yeah, if you want to, you can get a, a charger installed in your house, but you really don't need to do that. The average person doesn't need to do that. You just plug it in straight into a power, power point. So all these misconceptions about EVs are being, they're being, debunked by Tesla fans, by electric car fans. It doesn't matter what EV you buy, but what people are saying to their mates, actually, mate, all this stuff the mainstream media has told you, it's garbage, it's straight crap. Go buy an EV. And then people are going, oh, yeah, okay. And then they're telling their friend and they're telling another friend. And I think that's what's happening. And that's why EV sales in Australia have just gone through the roof. We've gone from 1% to 8% in 12 months. That's, I mean, 1.1 to 8%. So it's actually seven times Seven times as many EVs were sold in the last month in Australia versus the same month last year. That is incredible. Imagine if we see the same thing happen again. Seven times eight. We'll be looking at nearly 50% EV penetration. Now, that won't happen to quite that at quite that speed, but we're getting a lot of electric cars coming from China. This is what happens when you get all these EVs coming from China. The Japanese are not interested in selling them here. Germans aren't really that interested. They're selling expensive ones that no one can really afford. So this is what happened. Now, despite the $400 increase for the entry level Tesla Model Y, it still remains under the luxury car tax threshold of $84,916. And the reason for that is because it's considered an economical vehicle. If your car isn't considered an economical vehicle, it won't, you will actually pay luxury tax on a car that costs this much. Now, the only way you can get it to stay under the luxury tax threshold though, is if you keep it in white and you get it with 19 inch alloy wheels. Keep the 19 inch alloy wheels. That's my recommendation. If you put bigger wheels on it, you're just going to get less range. That's exactly what it doesn't matter what you do, you'll get less range if you go bigger wheels. So yeah, go for that model. That's the perfect model if you're looking for the most affordable version. If you want the performance car version, well, I'm telling you, it's it's mind blowing for that price. Over the past month, the Australian dollar has fallen to the US dollar by approximately one and a half percent. So you could say this is a reflection of the difference in terms of currency exchange between the countries. However, all these models are made, all the models we're getting here in Australia apparently are made in China. I'm not actually sure if that's 100% true, but that's what people say. So when will you get your car if you place an order? Waiting times for the Model Y are between May and June, two between July and September, depending on the model. Obviously you've got to get on the website if you actually pick which model you want, it'll give you an estimated waiting time. Model Y performance buyers will still not take delivery. Model Y performance buyers will get their car pretty quickly. So you can see that there's a few more Model Y performance vehicles in inventory, thus the discount in price. I'm gonna guess that once they clear that inventory, the price will probably go back up. There won't be any changes to the Model Y until probably 
I'm, I think until the end of the year with the new Juniper version of the Model Y. So you're looking at, it won't probably come out in Australia. I'm gonna guess until February, March. Therefore, I think the price of the Model Y performance will increase once they clear the inventory there. The Model Y long range, estimated delivery time is between June and July of this year if you place an order now. All Model 3 variants have estimates between within the next few weeks and the end of June. So let's just go over those prices. Model 3 rear wheel drive is $61,300, up $400. Model 3 long range all wheel drive is $74,300, up $400. Different battery packs, remember that? The long range and the performance both have Tesla's nickel manganese cobalt batteries, which are considered called a ternary battery in China. The base model has a lithium iron phosphate battery pack. The Model 3 performance all-wheel drive, 87,300. Model Y pricing, Model Y rear-wheel drive is 69,300, up 400. Model Y long range all wheel drive is six is eighty two thousand three hundred up four hundred dollars, and the Model Y performance all wheel drive is ninety five thousand three hundred down two thousand six hundred dollars. Even today, there are no performance cars on the market in Australia that will do the performance of the Model Y performance all wheel drive that any, anywhere near that size for that price. There's nothing. I think you can really see why these cars are selling so well in Australia. The first reason there's a lot of them right? Tesla are making a lot of cars. The second reason, they're, well, they're pretty good. Let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.